Hey there guys, welcome to another episode from me, Crafty Genius here. Today we are playing one of the best games of all time. Listen to the boot up sequence. Ah, oh, brings back the memories for sure. PlayStation 1, here we go. Crash Bandicoot 1, let's do this. Ah, oh, this is one of the best games of my childhood and probably many of your childhoods as well. And it really blows my mind that PlayStation, Sony, Activision, Naughty Dog have not pulled their finger out to get this on the PlayStation 4 because this, oh, this will sell many consoles indeed. I'm so excited to bring you Crash Bandicoot 1. It's a game that I never really completed, so um, it's going to be interesting to see how far we get in this Let's Play. And let's just double check that we're all set up here. We're going to be playing on the emulator, of course, and we're going to be using a PlayStation 4 controller, so interesting times indeed. Let's start the game off, though. We're starting off at Insanity Beach. Damn, this brings back the memories, and I absolutely love this game. It's so fun. Like, the storyline, no one really understands. Who cares about storylines in video games these days? Because I, for one, do not. We have to collect um, all the apples, of course. We're going to try and get as many gems as we can as we complete this uh, Crash Bandicoot Let's Play. I've ne never, ever actually completed the game. It absolutely blows my mind. It, like, I don't think I even got off the first level, um, the first island here. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens once we uh, get past that. So let's try and complete this game then. Starting off early with the first level here. Um, and let's see how far we get. I was wondering, like, is there any um, a beyond the gems of collecting the boxes? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's just collect a boobadar here. Let me know um, if there's any uh, collectibles that you get for actually collecting all of the apples, because I think that would be pretty far-fetched if you have to collect all of the apples and all of the boxes to get 100% on this game. That must be insane. Like, if there is such a thing, Jesus, that's going to be hard to do, but we'll just try and get as far as we can in this game. Let me know what you call this guy. Um, I call him Boobadar, because that's the name that comes up when you collect him. He goes, Boobadar! Um, but I don't know what his name is. Let me know if I'm the only one that's calls him Boobadar, because I, I call him Boobadar. Um, we're going to take the right path here. I do remember this map like the back of my hand. Um, let's just... Oh, that was that was bad. Right, let's try and get all the boxes. Oh, this is a terrible... Okay. We've got a few there. I think we we have to go back and see if we can uh, collect the others there. It might be a bit of a push, though. So let's collect these apples here. Ah, oh, that was always going to happen. I see the damage. So let's try. Let's try and get all these boxes. I, I, I have no idea how this is going to work out. I'm not very good at jumping. Right, let's go. Ah! Oh my! Oh yeah! I can't believe we actually just pulled that off. Jeez, that was a lot of boxes as well. That was a lot of. Uh... Oh, I nearly fucked that up there. I think we got all the boxes. I think we got all the hidden ones as well. Come on. Please give me a gem. Start this series off with a bang. Didn't lose a life either. We just... Yes! Uh, the victory dances out. Yes. Oh, save that. We're going to override it. A, a little insider thing here now. I did actually play this once earlier, and I did a recording. Perfect recording. The only thing is, didn't record the audio. Very annoying. So I had to redo it. Um, so... That's the reason for that. Uh, let's see how far we can get in here, though. See if we can do better than the last one, because... Oh, we, we're above the box there. Interesting. Let's just do a slam. Oh, missed that, but we have a boob dart, so that's fine. So we have to, obviously, bounce on these TNTs if you want to get all that completion bonus. So I'm going to be doing a new series, guys. Um... It's going to be called Throwback Thursdays. It's um, going to be playing all the retro games, and Crash Bandicoot is going to be the first of those. Um, I'll let you in on a little insider thing in a sec, but um, if you want to recommend any sort of like PlayStation 1 games or any games from the good old days of gaming that aren't really so much around these days, um, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to check them out. Um, 
Oh, we got a cheeky boobada here. So I was going to say, like, as for an insider sort of thing, um, I never actually really played the PlayStation too much. And the reason for that was because of the beast that is the PlayStation 1. Uh, I played the PlayStation 1 all through the PlayStation 2 life cycle. There's no cheeky boxes hidden around there. Um, and I was actually late to the party on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 side of things. Oh, oh, damn! Did you just see what I did? Party on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 side of things. Oh, oh, damn! Did you just see what I did? Oh, I collected. Wow, I spun an enemy that far away and got a life. Wow, that was that was AAA gaming there, guys. That's why I'm on YouTube. And I saw a Rex is coming out. Um, so yeah, I was I was late to the Xbox 360 sort of side. We're going to the bonus level now. Uh, I stuck with the PlayStation One for so many generations. I got the Xbox 360 in 2010, and that's pretty late as well. And I just totally avoided the PlayStation Two. The PlayStation One had me sold, and at its peak. I had about 150 PlayStation 1 games, and they're going to be coming up to my place shortly as well, but it's obviously so much easier and so much better to have it on uh, an emulator now, and so it's much easier for recording. So that's what we're going to be re using, and we've got the PlayStation 4 controller set up, uh, as I showed you earlier, so apologies if there's not that retro sort of feel to it, but it definitely is. It's the same sort of thing. It just makes it easier for me to record. That's the only reason for that. So we're going to be going back into Jungle Rollers here. And uh, I just wanted to make a point of, like, this is a throwback for you, this is another throwback. Like, this is back in the day when analog sticks didn't do anything, because not all controllers had analog sticks. And the main... Oh no, boobada down. Rip. Oh no! Don't do a rip. Right, now rip. <laughs> um, this was like back in the day when... No! Oh, the first death, we got rolled over his feet. Ripperoni pizza. Um, Alright, let's just wait for these rollers to go past. Um, so this was back in the day when not all controllers had analog sticks, and even if they did, everyone just used to use the analog, the diagonal buttons anyway, so... Strange times, and it's definitely a throwback. You don't see that much these days. Any cheeky boxes hidden here? Okay, let's jump on here. Fingers crossed to put all the boxes, because I didn't see any I missed. Map. Okay, we're going straight to the map. It looks like there is no gem to collect. Anyway, the Great Gate. So, I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, Let's Plays and like retro games, so let me know in the comments what games you'd like to play. I personally am a huge fan of Crash Bandicoot, so we're going to be doing Crash Bandicoot 1, Crash Bandicoot 2, and Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Um, and then we're going to look at maybe Spyro, but Spyro wasn't really my sort of genre. Um, I was much more of a Crash Bandicoot fan. And it's strange to think, like, we have actually had a Crash Bandicoot in not so distant times. We had it in PlayStation 2, and that's the sort of unloved cousin of Crash Bandicoot that um, everyone forgets about. So we have had um, Crash Bandicoot on the PlayStation 2, but obviously everyone's hearts are with the original trilogy. Um, so I hope if they do bring it back to the PlayStation 4, they don't screw it up. And I think that's probably so much pressure for any sort of behind the scenes developers uh, to be working on. That's so crazy. Like that's, This is the game that so many people fell in love with and this is why like so many people have still got PlayStation uh, today. My uh, avatar on my PlayStation 4 for the Crafted Genius account is uh, the Crash Bandicoot as well. And I think I probably spent most hours in this game, but yeah, like I say, I've never completed it, and I don't think I've got off this, the first island. Whoa, we're playing a risky game there. A boobada down again. This was one of the trickier levels, but it builds you up for um, what is a pretty hard uh, level later on in this game, where it's a... Whoa, let's just take out this woman. Where it's a similar theme, but what I love about Crash Bandicoot is the th how every level... you can, it's like unexpected. It's like a total design change, a total uh, back to the drawing board. Love that sort of level design, and you don't really see that much these days. So I think that's why many people fell in love with it. But let me know if you have any games you recommend for me to play. I think another one of mine um, is Pac Man. Pac Man was one of those games that I absolutely fell in love with. Pac Man 20th World Anniversary Edition. It's a, like a platformer game. And I absolutely love that game, and I'll be looking at doing a let's play of that as well. So let's just try and complete this uh, bonus level here. 
tech out this. Normally those uh, ex exclamation marks uh, can be a bit of a troll. Like, let's do it from the middle and go out. It can be a bit of a troll, like they put nitros and it means you're, you're, there's no way of completing the level. <clears throat> Very clever. Oh yes, we get two lives here. Doing pretty well so far, 7% of the game complete. That seems pretty high since we've only completed like three levels and I've been playing for about 10 to 15 minutes so far. So flying through, but there comes the stage where you just get stuck, you get the rage. And there's going to be some of these episodes, guys, where you're going to be stuck on one level for throughout the whole of the 15 or so minutes of Throwback Thursday. So please leave a like if you like the idea of the Throwback Thursday series. We're going to be doing all the sort of uh, retro games. I'm going to have plenty of... What? I didn't miss any. Jesus. Um, we're going to be doing loads of retro games, so... I think next may be uh, more Crash Bandicoot, and we'll see where we go from there. Um, we're going to finish off this game with boulders today. We're going to be finishing off this episode with boulders. Let's see if we can get a, a gem on this one as well. So we collect all the apples, and we shall move forward. Let's just do that. Okay, let's go. So this is one of the uh, iconic ones from Crash Bandicoot. Running away from a boulder, trying to get all these crates as we run through. We're not too fast about the apples, we're just going for lives at the mo and crates. So let's just do a run through of this. Okay, there we go, perfection. Couldn't have an itch in the head. Back on the control sticks. Spin that bad boy. This was the Crash Bandicoot, like where it has such simple control, so I'm always thinking to do a slam or a extended spin or double jump. Double? Did I say that right? <clears throat> Double jump. But no. Oh, whoa, no! Failed. That was a colossal fail. Went back on myself. You can't do that in this game. Um, double jump, an extended spin, and uh, the slam comes much later on. I don't think it's actually part of this Crash Bandicoot 1. I think it comes in Crash Bandicoot 3. Not entirely sure. I think Crash Bandicoot 3 uh, was probably my fave. I have to say, like, Crash Bandicoot 3, I think the variety and how you can choose which level you do next, that sold to me a lot more as a, uh, what, must be a 10 year old? Crazy. Crazy to think it was that far long ago. But yeah, we're going to wrap up this episode here, guys. I think I got all the crates, but this was beyond the this was back in the day when YouTube wasn't around and you'd have to get like a magazine to uh, tell you where the hidden crates were. So I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to go and cheat and find where all the unlocks are and all the Easter eggs and stuff because this, this game has got plenty of them. Um, we're just going to be doing a Let's Play. So be sure to keep your eye out for the next episode. It's going to be coming every Thursday live. No, it's not going to be live. But it'll be on my YouTube channel, Crafty Genius. Make sure to give me a follow on Twitter at Crafty Genius, and you can also check out my Snapchat as well, Crafty Genius. And I'll be sure to see you soon. I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Please leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hey guys, um, just a quick message to ask for any feedback on this uh, episode because this is a new series for me, and I want to know like what you want to see change, what you want to see tweaked, and we're gonna make this ever so perfect for this Crash Bandicoot series so please let me know how you think throwback thursday went the first episode i'll see you in the next one for more crash bandicoot but yeah if you could please let me know more feedback in the comments below that'd be really helpful so thank you once again and i'll see you in the next episode world or select few or illuminati